Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. I'm Aria. And I'm Daisy. And, and we're, we're the Scripture, Scripture Explorers. Hello? Where are we? I don't know. It doesn't look like anywhere we've been before. Hello, Scripture Explorers. Welcome to Patmos. Who are you? My name is John. I was one of the Apostles of Jesus, and I helped write parts of the New Testament that you'll be studying this year. The New Testament? Last year you talked about the Old Testament. You learned about the history of the Jews and the teachings of ancient prophets. They taught that a Savior would come. The New Testament is so important because it teaches about when Jesus came to earth. It teaches about his life, teachings, death, and resurrection. It also has many other important teachings that happened afterwards. I'm excited to learn about the life of Jesus. Me too! That's great! You might remember that the Old Testament is often divided into four different sections. Law, history, poets, and prophets. The New Testament is also often divided into four sections. The Gospels, the Acts of the Apostles, the Epistles, and Apocalypse. Where does the New Testament take place? Much of the New Testament takes place in a place you might remember from the Old Testament, Jerusalem. While Jesus was on the earth, he spent a lot of time in Jerusalem and the surrounding areas. After his resurrection, he sent his apostles and followers out into the world, and they taught all over the place, often traveling great distances by boat. Cool! What else do we need to know about the New Testament? During the time that the New Testament took place, there was a powerful empire that was in control of Jerusalem, the Roman Empire. You might remember from the Old Testament that the Israelites split into two kingdoms, Israel and Judah. About 60 years before Jesus was born, the Romans had taken over the kingdom of Judah. You'll see throughout the New Testament that the Romans and the Jews struggled to get along, and this caused many problems for the Jews, for Jesus and his apostles, and for early followers of Jesus. In the New Testament, you'll also hear lots about Jesus, but you'll also hear stories from Jesus. He often taught using parables and allegories, which are stories that teach us with symbols. I can't wait to learn more. We're going to have a great year learning all about this wonderful book.